First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to you, Akim and you, Akwat, that believe in all sincerity. This lesson that you see on your screen is entitled Very Desperate People Do Very Desperate Things. Okay? And the, uh, the brother that did this uh, lesson is the brother out in Los Angeles, okay? The elder brother, okay? And his handle is GMS Mawatazuk Ban God 2. Okay, go check out this video when you get a chance. Okay, the brother um, basically was admonishing brothers to go and, um, you know, check out this video by the Epic Economist. When people can't take care of themselves, they start to go nuts, <clears throat> you know, and, um, you know, this uh, uh, channel right here, Epic Economist, you know, the dude, you know, he shoots it straight, you know, for the most part. All right. And, um, you know. I haven't checked this video out, but um, when I get a chance, I'm going to go check it out. But, um, you know, the elder was speaking about how in, um, you know, California, gas is $6. You know, people are starting to steal and rob, you know, and do things of that nature because they're getting desperate. You know, uh, we're in a time of, of uh, inflation, okay, and pretty soon it's going to be hyperinflation, like the brother said. And, um, you know, through the spirit, we're all feeling it, you know, I mean, maybe some more than others, but nonetheless, you know, we're coming upon the time of Jacob's trouble. You know, the scriptures speak about a time like none other. OK, there's going to there's coming a time, OK, in which, um, you know, money's going to be uh, useless. OK, they're about to go to the. Uh, you know, the MOTB, okay, and, and, and you know, those that believe in Yahweh by Shimei Shai, they're, they're going to be, you know, ousted from society, if you will. So we're coming on very perilous times, okay, uh, trying times, you know, the scriptures speak about the hour of temptation, okay, when you're tempted, you know, to bow the knee, okay, but the elect is not going to bow the knee, all right, and, um, you know, the, the lesson that the brother did, you know, it was uh, thought-provoking, you know, it, 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 you know, it made me think, you know, I saw this earlier this morning and I was like, you know, the brother's right. You know, we got to prepare, you know, and, and he even set up physically, you know, and that's that's something to uh, look into, too. You know, get, get, you know, getting ourselves together physically. All right. And, um, you know, bodily exercise profit a little, but nonetheless, it, 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 it exercises, uh, it profits, it profits. You know, there's another scripture that says uh, good health. You know, is 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 better than gold or something to that effect. You know, so um, you know definitely have to uh, prepare. You know, and and our preparation is spiritually. You know, uh, continuing um, to develop our relationship with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, keeping the commandments. Okay, walking upright, being righteous. Okay, doing the work. These are the things that the Heavenly Father is going to, um, you know, grant salvation. You know. He, if we do these things so i would like to speak on that you know if the if the lord allows so let's start here in the book of uh, isaiah 33 and 6 it says and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation the fear of yahweh is his treasure okay wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time so we're um you know we're to be uh in the scriptures, you know, we're to be laboring, doing the work, okay, and that's that's how we we learn, you know, by um by teaching others, you know, that that's um that's one of the way you learn, you know, you don't they say you don't learn something until you can teach it, so you have to be repetitious with with being in the scriptures. So wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, because you know the knowledge that the scriptures um have. Is, is going to make us wise to salvation. And that's what's going to keep us stable, knowing um, what's what's coming, where we're at, you know, in, in the whole grand scheme of things, okay? Scriptures say to be occupied in prophecy, you see? Measure the times diligently. So that's going to be our strength of salvation. That's what's going to, uh, uh, you know, keep us uh, stable, Okay, it says the fear of Yahweh is his treasure. Okay, so 
you know that's that's what the heavenly father uh, wants you know uh, if he be if he be the father how you know where is his fear where is his reverence you know and we're coming upon a time uh you know where, where lawlessness is is going to be rampant you know all hell is about to break loose but the, but the, but the believers they're going to have you know fear they're going to they're going to have reverence for the heavenly father's commandments and that's what the lord is looking for faith upon the earth okay Let's get this. This is Psalms 91 and 9. Because thou hast made Yahweh by Shem Shai, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. You see? Wisdom and knowledge. Okay. The fear. You know, you made the Lord your refuge. You know, you made him your habitation. It says, there shall no evil befall thee. Okay. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. So, you know, the Heavenly Father wants obedience. You know, that's ultimately what's going to keep you, you know, from being destroyed is following the commandments. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, you know, his name is a, as a tower. The righteous run into it are safe. So, you know, we, we are, we're, we're running to, to refuge. You know, we're hiding ourselves, okay, from, from the evil, okay? In these latter days and not so many people are doing that okay everyone else is is you know forgetting about the most high okay and his hamashiach right it says because thou hast made yahweh which is my refuge even the most high thy habitation there shall no evil befall thee neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways so you know us making Yahweh by Shimei Ashai our habitation, okay? You know, uh, uh, the Lord promises no evil to befall us, neither any plague come nigh, okay, our dwellings. You know, it says he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy way. So the Heavenly Father, you know, works in mysterious ways. I mean, uh, you, you know, we, we, you know, we believe that, uh, because we fear the Lord that, you know, he sends angels, you know, to uh, encamp around us and to keep us in, in all, all his ways. Okay. And, you know, trust and believe, you know, there's a hedge around the men of the Lord, around those that, that serve Yahweh Bashem El Shai. There's a hedge. Okay. So no, no evil shall befall thee, neither any plague come nigh thy dwelling, okay? There's uh, blessings upon the election, you know, who we, you know, aspire to be. This is a, uh, shoot. Let's see. Hmm. This is Psalms. One twelve, and I'll start at the first chapter. <clears throat> the first verse, excuse me, Psalms one twelve and one, and at the top it says prosperity of the one who fears Yahweh by Shem Shai. Okay, and that's what we want to do. We want to prosper in these latter days. We want to win. Okay, how are we going to win by, you know, adhering to you know Yahweh by Shem Shai, and He will, you know, keep us from evil. He will keep us from, you know. Yeah, he will send angels, you know, to uh to keep us in the way. All right. This is uh um Psalms one twelve and one. Praise ye Yahweh. Blessed is the man that feareth Yahweh, that delighteth greatly in his commandments. You see? We have to delight in his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. You know, the, the Lord says, Why call me Lord, Lord, and do not the things I say? We have to do the things that the Heavenly Father says. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed, you see? And brothers, his children are, are growing growing up in the truth, you know? Brothers is naming their children uh, Isaiah, Jeremiah, giving them Hebrew names and, you know, teaching them about the uh, the law, statutes, and commandments, about Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, okay? 
you know that's 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 beautiful you know our our kids are not born in the matrix you know some of our kids well you know some of them are are older and 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 and, and you know it was taught that Jesus juice but but you know some of the you know some of our children that you know you know they they're coming straight up in the truth so to speak all right it says his seed shall be mighty upon upon earth the generation of the upright shall be blessed and a generation of the people that are living at a certain time so you know the those that are upright that are living when Yahweh Bashim Shai comes they're, they're going to be blessed man it says wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endureth forever and the scriptures say um you'll never see the righteous begging bread you know the lord intervenes the lord always finds a way for the righteous to to be fed you know how much more in that day you know uh, did, did not the uh the heavenly father furnish a table in the wilderness okay the israelites they they ate, they ate when they left egypt okay so you know the heavenly father can do that for us as well you see cuz all hell's about to break loose you know there's about to be a famine you know, they're about to cut out the lights and the water. And if you don't have that MOTB, you're going to be an outcast. Okay. And that should provoke, you know, uh, that should provoke us to, to you know, to adhere more. To cleave on to Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Because there's really nothing out there. Okay. It says, uh, unto the upright there ariseth light in the darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. You see, excuse me, let me read that again. Unto the upright, there ariseth light in the darkness. You see, the Heavenly Father shines light even in darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. Okay. So there's going to be prosperity to those that fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. Let's get this in uh, Proverbs 12. And 21, it says, there shall no evil happen to the just, but the wicked shall be filled with mischief. There shall no evil happen to the just. And we know that word evil means uh, bad times. Okay. Happen to the just. Let's get this word just. Strong's H, 6662. Sadiq. Tazadak. Sadiq. Okay. Just, lawful, righteous. It says what? Just right in one's cause. It says just righteous in conduct and character. It says righteous as justified and vindicated by the Most High. So the elect who is justified and vindicated by the Most High, you know, they are the just. They are the righteous in their cause and conduct and behavior. That's important. You know, what's your intent? What's your intent behind the, what you're doing in the knowledge? Okay, how was your conduct? How was your behavior? That's... That's uh, important, okay? There shall no evil happen to the just, but the wicked shall be filled with mischief. And the scriptures speak about the foolish virgins. The scriptures speak about, um, you know, those that say, Lord, Lord, okay? But what did the Lord say? He says, depart from me, those that work iniquity, because you're going to have those, you know? And, and so, you know, examination is always uh, key, you know? It's always important in the faith. It's always important in this ministry that we're walking according to the word you see because the heavenly father is going to uh to keep you stable if you have the wisdom and that knowledge the lord's going to guide you okay the lord's going to send his his angels to give charge over you to keep you in the way okay because we know there's a time coming okay where it's going to be you and you're back against the wall okay there's going to come a, a temptation upon the whole earth it's going to try all those that they be on the earth okay you, you know, and, and like we always say, you know, you can mock now, but in that day, you're going to know you're in Jacob's trouble. You know, Apostle Tahar had said that you're going to know what the MOTB is, because without it, you're not going to be able to eat. You're not going to be able to survive. OK, you're going to be an outcast. You're going to be a, a pilgrim, which we're already pilgrims if we're of that election. OK, you know, we're, 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 we seek, um, uh, you know, we seek a, a new heaven, a new earth where indwell the righteousness. Okay. There shall no evil happen to the just, but the wicked shall be filled with mischief. You know, Two thirds. 
are whack, walking in the vanity of their own mind, okay? Being alienated, uh, 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 you know, to the Most High, you know? Walking according to uh, uh, the, you know, the, the spirit of, of the children of disobedience, okay? There's, 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 a, there's a corruptible seed out there of Israelites, they're going to be filled with mischief, okay? What is this word mischief? Let's get it real quick. Strong's H, 7451, Ra, Ra, and second entry, Ra, Ra, and third entry, Ra, right. Ra, Ra. Bad, disagreeable, malignant, bad, unpleasant, evil, giving pain, unhappiness, misery, Okay, what does it say here? Worse than worse, and the elect is the best of its kind. Okay, what does it say here? Evil. All right. The wicked shall be filled with mischief, and, and, and two-thirds of, of Israel is, is all wicked as all hell. You see, they're going to be filled with mischief. Okay, but the righteous are going to be filled with the word. This is a Proverbs 19 and 23. The fear of Yahweh tendeth to life. Okay. The fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai tendeth to life. Okay. And he that hath it shall abide satisfied. He shall not be visited with the evil. Okay. When you fear Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, you're, you know, you're tending to life. You know, you're talking about winning. You're talking about overcoming. You're talking about um you know being with the like minded you know uh, uh, uh you know you're seeking out salvation for those that be uh, as 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 you and he that hath it shall abide satisfied right because you're going to be satisfied knowing that you know you fear okay that's the treasure right having that having that reverence that that you know we're keep you know as 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 the elder in Dallas says, you keep you have a Bashim at the forefront of all your decision making. You know, nothing is willful. Nothing is a, a um, you know, it's all what would you have a Bashim do? What do the scriptures say? The fear of Yahweh attended to life, and he that had to shall abide satisfied. He shall not be visited with evil. Okay. Right. NLT, fear of the Lord leads to life, bringing security and protection from harm. Security and protection from harm. That's what the Heavenly, Mother, that's what the Heavenly Father wants to see. Okay? He wants to see that fear, that trust, that obedience. That's what it's about. It's not about outward show. It's about obedience. It's what you do when no one is around. That's what matters. You see? He shall not be visited with evil. The, the just are not going to be visited with evil. Okay? You know, the Lord the Lord's going to find a way, okay, to deliver the righteous from all said perils, man. Okay? So, that was the lesson I'm willing you were edified. It's just something on my spirit, something that, uh, it made me think, as I said, you know, I watched that brother's video and, um, you know, we got to prepare, you know, and how do we prepare by staying in this word? Okay. Staying in the word, being obedient, following the commandments, doing the work. Okay. All these things be occupied in these things. Okay. Because we know evil is coming, but, you know, you know, the heavenly father said that, uh, you know, the servant shall eat. There's going to be an escape. Okay, this is Job 5 and 19. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. You see? He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. Right? Seven is completion. Okay, the Lord's going to intervene right at the right time. You know? There's, there's going to be troubles, man. But, man. You know, right when you think you're going to get God, the Heavenly Father's going to come through. 
there shall in seven there shall no evil touch thee in famine he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh at destruction and famine thou shalt laugh it says neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee right we're, we're, we're turning to a very we're going to a very spiritual world okay this carnal world you know it's going to be turned uh, to a spiritual existence man the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee you see that there shall for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field yeah we're gonna know about the herbs man all the trees are gonna be um you know together okay you know we you know we just have to go through this little hell but the heavenly father is going to be with his election if they just be obedient it says and thou shalt know that thy tabernacle shall be in peace and thou shalt visit thy habitation and shall not sin thou shalt know also that thy seed shall be great and then offspring as the grass of the earth you see scripture say thy seed shall be mighty upon the earth Okay, so I'll leave it there. Lord willing, you were edified. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rokakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And a sincere salutation to all Yoakim out there that believe in all sincerity. Shalom.